There is an unusual ABC News special about planet Earth that will air next Tuesday. And it deals with some of the frightening prospects that loom because of global warming. New psychological territory for all of us. And as Bill Blakemore reports in this week's Nature's Edge Notebook, Earth 2100 uses some new techniques to describe the future. One of the main jobs in reporting on global warming is to convey responsibly what experts think likely to happen to all this civilization, even within the next few decades, if we don't deal with it. Of course, no one can predict the future exactly, but we each make decisions every day based on what seems most probable. This once glorious city. And the ABC special called Earth 2100 tackles now. this journalistic challenge with a unique combination of this experts and a graphic novel told in the year 2100 by a 91-year-old woman named Lucy, who was born on June 2, 2009. But where do I begin? With the droughts, the famines, the plague? I lived through it all. This graphics novel approach makes Lucy's account of her life just realistic enough to engage our imagination, yet remind us this is only a plausible future. Civilization was at a crossroads. We were in a race for our future. Interlaced throughout Lucy's story are respected experts, like Harvard's John Holdren, now Obama's chief science advisor. If we're still dragging our feet in 2015, it really becomes almost impossible for the world to avert a degree of climate change that we simply will not be able to manage. Real-life officials from around the world, led by Obama's transition chief, John Podesta, conduct an imaginary global summit in 2015 to control carbon emissions and fail. Lucy and the experts take us across an American Southwest in the year 2030 with almost no water or food. We talk about the Southwest moving into drought as, as a way to, to describe what's going to happen. But technically, the Southwest, it's not going to be in drought. It's going to become a desert. ABC viewers even contribute some imaginary webcasts from the year 2030. Totally panic. People in Phoenix are starting to panic, too. This is what I get out of my tap. And Lucy's memories tell of an ideal all-green New York in the year 2060. The building we lived in was green in every sense of the word but a New York racing to build three giant sea barriers in the face of surging sea level before Lucy's story takes a harsh turn. For the World News webcast, this is Bill Blakemore in New York. Earth 2100 ends with a look at what humanity might do to avoid Lucy's future, and it'll air on the ABC network this Tuesday night at 9 Eastern.